Good day everyone. I am Queenie P. De Assis, a freshman student of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology at Western Institute of Technology. And today I will gonna share with you my advocacy about COVID-19 pandemic in relation to globalization. So we all knew what and where the virus started from, right? The virus called coronavirus started from Wuhan, China that spread around the world. And it killed millions of people already. 4.24 million to be exact and 199 million total cases around the world. This virus is no joke. It brings a big impact on our lives. It affected us, especially on our mental health, with different reasons. And those are losing jobs, having a hard time on online classes, have nothing to put on the table, and losing loved ones because they were infected. Also those who are sick and afraid to go to the hospital because of thinking that they may also become infected with the virus. And it's not just that. It also affects our country's economy and financial markets. Examples are the closed and temporary closed businesses like restaurants, spa, small markets, and some hotels in Boracay. Trade disruption, the sudden surge of global demand for COVID-19 related medical supplies, which exceeded current domestic production levels, thus resulting in increased import demand and simultaneously raising prices. Decimation of tourism industry and many more. See what COVID-19 have done to our lives and to our country? It's worse than what you have than what we have imagined, right? COVID-19 may be that a wake-up call for us. To be united and for leaders to intensify cooperation on epidemic preparedness and provide the necessary financing for collective action. If you are worried about what if it will get worse as time passes by, stop worrying because there's a big possibility that it didn't and there's a solution to that. And that is following the protocols. We should follow the protocols. Like wear a mask wherever you go. Always clean your hands. Keep a safe distance. Getting a vaccine when it's, av- when it's available to you and in your respective area. And most importantly is to stay at home. You should stay at home. Those I mentioned is not that hard to follow. And a big help not only to us, but also to our country. It's not just, we're just following the rules. We are also saving lives. Due to lack of funds, government borrow big money from another country for them to help. Though it's their, it's their responsibility. And provide us based on our needs, such as goods, more facilities, medical supplies, sap, sap is the money they are giving to each person in the house, and free vaccination. Some influencers are helping also in many different ways, like distributing free face mask, alcohol, face shield. But always remember that we should not always rely upon the help of other people. Let's also help. Because there's a lot of ways for us to help, even without money related. Also, help ourselves by disciplining ourselves to cooperate with the government and other officials for us to be able to survive in this time of pandemic. Always remember that the change starts with ourselves. We are one. We are living in the same country, so we should be as one. We face this all together. We should unite, because there's nothing we can surpass if we are united.